Rules for thee, but not for me. Every week there seems to be a story of yet another hypocritical Democrat lockdown governor breaking their own sacred health rules. We've seen yet another one here. Most recently it was Rhode Island Democrat Governor Gina Raimondo. She was caught enjoying herself at a wine bar without a mask, despite her own rules. Why does this continue to happen? When will people get fed up with all the blatant hypocrisy from our elected officials? To examine all this, I'm joined by my friend David Reboy. He is a conservative commentator and national security analyst based out of sunny Florida, which will factor into our conversation a bit today. I, I gotta ask you, David, uh, uh, this is from, I mean, here we have the, the governor of Rhode Island told residents to stay home except for essential activities. Here we go. She says, it's week or two of pause. I know it's hard, but I want to thank every Rhode Islander who's following our guidance. Stay home except for essential activities. Wear a mask. Anytime you're with people you don't live with, together we can turn our numbers around. Forget about this whole, can we even turn our numbers around if we listen to these people thing, because I keep telling everybody, look at the data and stop, you know, the brainwashing. But if I say that in the wrong place, I'll get, you know, throttled and deplatformed. Uh, but let's just focus on what she's saying here, which is that you should avoid everything except for essential. Why is a wine bar visit essential for a governor, but not you and me? Well, these things are absolutely inevitable. I think all of us knew that when when this whole thing started that uh, that it was going down this road. Um, it, it reminds me of every kind of uh, totalitarian society, a society driven by ideological rules telling um, you know, the, with the regime telling the people what they can and can't do. Uh, and every one of these rules is always violated by the rulers at the top. Um, you know, from, from communism to, uh, to today, there is a temptation to pass, there's a temptation to love power, love the, um, the trappings that come with that power. And one of the trappings is the ability to exempt yourself from the rules you make. I also think that we, we see this from so many different, and, and it is overwhelmingly these Democrat governors, it's people like Gavin Newsom, it's Democrats in the Senate and the House, like Nancy Pelosi and Dianne Feinstein. They give these, these speeches and their own side, it seems, lets them slide on this too. It's not like there's, there's tremendous outrage from Democrats. If anything, the Democrat, the Democrat response to this always tends to be, well, at least they're giving the right public message. As if the personal hypocrisy doesn't matter. I, I feel like in a way this goes to your point. Right, and I mean, the, we shouldn't be surprised too because the left is very good at this. You know, you just think back on, uh, on Bill Clinton and um, and his relationship with women, um, Bill Clinton would any no none of those activities would have been accepted by uh, Democrats coming from a Republican, but instead they made the calculation that you know in order to stay in power we um, we there are things that we've got to overlook. Um, I think there's that, and in addition to I think there's a sense that. Um, there's a sense that the rules don't really need to apply to um, to kind of the the ruling class and the elites. And what what ends up happening is a lot of these people in blue states, uh, especially the kind of lockdown happy, um, let's say upper middle class and and up uh, folks in these blue states, they kind of exempt. They all think they're part of the elite themselves. So they can't, they don't, I, I, I think it's possible they just don't come down very hard on, you know, on, uh, on elected officials and, and, uh, and, and these folks in blue states. Yeah, they certainly have a, a, a kinship that they feel with people like Newsom and Cuomo. It's amazing to me how Governor Cuomo, by the numbers, is really the worst governor in the COVID era, and yet his popularity among Democrats in New York has gone up. But I, I want to I speak to that with you for a second. Uh, you have... New York and, and Florida are states of similar size, population-wise. I think Florida's got about 2 million more, 19 million mm -hmm. to, tw call it 20, 21 million in the case of Florida. And yet we have a far higher per, ca uh, per case mortality. We have more hospitalizations. We have more deaths overall. And Florida, tell us about the status of Florida right now with all these mandates, like the one the governor of Rhode Island 
doesn't seem is necessary to pay attention to when she has to have some wine. Well, one of the great things about living in Florida and having a, a great governor like Ron DeSantis is that the entire issue that you're talking about doesn't really even come up, which is there are no different rules between, you know, for, for the elites and, and, uh, and different rules for the people, you know, their, their subjects. And eventually that kind of thing catches up. I know we were just talking about how, you know, I guess the Democrats don't seem to care about what their, um, what their, what their rulers do. Um, they don't care until they do. And it creates this sense of, you know, alienation from, um, you know, ruler and ruled that at the end of the day is not really good for the regime itself or the, you know, kind of the, the foundation of, uh, of, uh, of uh, you know, the government, the system of government in this country. Um, I think we're going to end up paying for that in, uh, in more ways than one. Um, but here in Florida, you're right. We don't have to deal with this. We don't have to deal with um, uh, those kinds of restrictions. And we're the same just degree. open, you yeah. know. We, <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, you can go right. You, just, you don't have mask it's just mandates. Completely crazy. And so, somehow you don't have mask mandates, and you're better right. off in New York with all the mandates and the social distancing and the lockdown orders and everything else. And and I'm and I'm the crazy one for pointing this out. Is what I keep hearing from everybody around here. It drives me absolutely nuts. But. David, we got to leave it there, man. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.